What's up, Strictly Fishness here. I've been asked by a number of you how I remove substrate from a tank, such as sand or gravel, and what process I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I don't wanna bore you guys with draining the tank. I've drained most of it now. I did use this pump right here, and all I did was take off the end piece to the Python hose, and you can drain the tank without using a ton of water. So now that it's getting low, you do want to get this last bit of water. And I'll tell you why. When you're taking out the substrate, it's going to have water in it. I mean, it is an aquarium, right? So you might get some sand in there. That's not a problem. But you want to get as much water as you can. And let it do its thing. And once the water is done draining, I'll show you the next step. All right, so now that I got a majority of the water out, what I suggest doing is grabbing a sturdy piece of Tupperware. I'm just gonna show you a couple of examples. So here's a piece of Tupperware. This is a specimen container that they use at fish stores to put your fish in, most fish stores to take your fish out and then bag it up. And I also have this pretzel container, just anything around your house. And my advice to you is don't scrape it. Don't scrape, especially around the seal, around the edges. You don't want to do that or else you'll be resealing it or getting a new tank. So I like to start out with putting it in the middle, getting a huge thing of sand, taking it out. And that's the thing, you know, a lot of fish have different pH requirements, and I always buy whatever pH substrate is conducive for that fish. So I had African cichlids in here before. I'm going to be putting my South American cichlids in here now. Change of plans. I was originally going to put the discus in here, but I have another tank for the discus. That's even better. And so I'm simply just taking this out. Sometimes I use my hand, I shove it into the container, then I remove it and put it in my bucket. Now I also use, if I don't have a bucket available, I use uh, a rubber, a plastic tote to get it Target or Walmart or wherever. And you know, it's, it's a messy job and it's not the most fun job either. But you know, it doesn't take too long and it doesn't have to be perfect. Then you have to decide what you're gonna do with that substrate that you've taken out. For me, I probably put a lid on the bucket, make sure I can get as much water out as I can so it doesn't get all nasty. And then I'll either offer it to someone, you know, who might be setting up a tank, because my substrate's in really good condition since I clean my tanks a lot. And, you know, or you can save it for another tank setup. I have hundreds of pounds of substrate that I keep in my garage, like in the bag still. Right now, PetSmart, if you go online, not in store, but you go online, they have a ton of substrate, the KRC substrate. They have the African cichlid type, they have the pH neutral stuff. And so, normally, for a small 20 pound bag at the store, it's $25, $30 for that bag. If you go on PetSmart.com, you can get a 50 pound bag for 25 bucks, which is pretty good. Getting more than double. So I've already filled up a bucket right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get another bin, but you get the idea. And you can see already how much I've gotten out. But again, you don't wanna go near your edges. You want to make sure that you're using your hands and moving it out in the middle. Just like that. And this and I change tanks up a lot, so unfortunately I've had to do this many times, but it's that easy. Just move it to the middle, 
to make it easier and to protect the seal. And that's pretty much it. When it's all done, what I like to do, if you want to be meticulous with it, is you can take a wet dry shop vac and put it in here and suck out all the additional sand. For me, I'm putting in another type of sand, so I'm probably not going to be that thorough with it, but each his own. But that's how you do it, guys. This was about 80 pounds of substrate in total. I've already filled up one five gallon bucket, and that's probably like a third of a bucket right there. So it's not that bad. And once you've done it a bunch of times like I have, you get the hang of it. But I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, always feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on Instagram at Strictly Fishness.